All right, so in this tutorial, we'll be talking about how to get input from console. And we'll be using the scanner class. So Java is an object-oriented programming. So everything's an object. So here I've written two objects. Um, this is called, um, this is a variable, and it's a type string. And string is an object uh, in Java. That's just that's just a fact. And then um, your console is also um, can also be thought of as an object, and it's also known as system.in in Java. So basically, what we have what we have right here is a little co collection collection facility collection thing. So if you have some input and you type in like Fred, it falls into here and it's ready to be taken out through this little doorway. And then it needs to be taken over here and placed in your name string. The problem is getting it from here, point A, to point B. And what helps us do that is the scanner class. So we're going to draw the scanner as a stick figure. So here is scanner. Don't name your, ch don't name your child scanner. And he's buff because he has a lot of heavy lifting to do. So how you create this scanner is just first you have to create a new variable. And this is this is Java code. So scanner and then this is called the type and the uh, color that isn't green is just for notes. And then so that's their type and this is your their name for the scanner. So we're just call them, gonna call them my scanner for now. And then we need to set them equal to, um, and this is the variable name. And now we need to set them equal to, uh, we need to create a new one. So we're going to create a new guy. And so we do new scanner and then we have these parentheses. So what goes in the parentheses is where he is picking up data. So whatever we put in there is where he should go to to pick up data. So we want to send him to the console, right? Uh, we want to send him to the console, which in Java is known as system.in. So inside of here, we just type system dot in. And that goes right in there. And that tells him where to get his data from. So um, now that we've done this, he, we need to send him on a mission. So what we need to do is his name is my scanner. And each time he goes to get data, we need to tell him to do so. And then we need to tell him where to return it. So to tell him where to return it, uh, we're going to create, uh, we're just going to tell him to set name equal to. So our variable name, we're just going to set it equal to whatever he gets back. So this is what he picks up. And right here, we'll give him the command to pick something up. So all we have to do is call him by name. So we set his name right here. And then the next thing we need to do is tell him the action to perform. So this dot separates his name, calling him by name, and then telling him what action to do. 
and we're going to tell them to get the next um, line. And basically what this does is telling him to get the next line tells him to come over here, pick up what's ever right here. So once Fred drops down, it'll be Fred. And then he comes over, picks it up. So now he has Fred. And then he takes it over here and sticks it instead of inside of here. And now you have this stored in a string. You, now you have it saved in a variable. So now you can do whatever you want with it. So in the next video, I'll show you how, how to actually program this idea. And this is this is really the main purpose of the vi of this video is an intro to object-oriented programming. Um, and I hope this makes sense. Also, since we already created Fred right here, we don't have to create him each time he wants to go and do something. I see this as a common common misunderstanding is that you need to tell you need to create a new Fred each time you want him to pick something up. You only need to tell him to pick something up over and over again. Um, so like let's say we got tired of this name, we could just do again name equals my scanner um, dot next line, and he would go and get the next the next line. So the first time right here, he's picked Fred up, so now it's gone. So now that Fred's gone, it's empty. So he's he's over here waiting. And this is a great opportunity, while he's waiting, it's a great opportunity to, put, to enter some data. So let's show you, you change your name, and you're going to set it equal to Bob. Well, Bob's going to drop down, and then it's going to be right here. And now he says, oh, there's some new code. So now he holds Bob, takes it over, and puts it inside of here. So now it says Bob. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.